Hey good people of Fandroid, Outlaw71 on May 2nd, 2011. Um, today I have a short demonstration set up for you guys using my two devices. Uh, I have a couple of home launchers set up on there uh, to demonstrate um, some of the differences between both the devices and the launchers. This one you will recognize as the Droid X through Motorola. Uh, I picked this up at launch of last year, um, back in July. It was a Verizon device and uh, to me this is the best device of 2010. Um, and I think it still holds its ground against the devices being released today. This one is the LG G2X and I picked this up just last week through T-Mobile. It's a dual core processor, so it represents the new technology being released today. Now, on my Droid X, I have set up the Go Launcher EX, and this is my favorite launcher. Um, I've tried ADW Pro Plus, uh, Launcher Pro Plus, um, and uh, SPB Shell 3D, and uh, by far, Go Launcher is my favorite. Um, I tried it after reading Stephen 58's recommendation thread back in December, and he had uh, a lot of good things to say about it, so I tried it out. It was free, and in my opinion, uh, better than the Launcher Pro Plus that I had already installed on there, which was a paid app. So uh, uh, the transitions were a lot smoother, there was no lag, uh, real snappy, and um, just... Uh, over the months, you know, they've added a lot of features to it that I think are really neat. And, uh, you know, it's still free. So, you know, that's uh, definitely a plus in my book. One of the things I like on Launcher Pro is uh, when I swipe down, the notification bar disappears. Swipe down again, and it reappears. If I swipe up, the dock disappears. Swipe up again. And it reappears. So I can swipe up and swipe down, get rid of both the dock and the notification bar, and then I have a, a really clean looking screen, home screen. And uh, of course, those are all things that you set up in the settings. Um, go into settings, preferences, display, and you can, uh, on, like on the transitions, there's a whole list here. Of different transitions that you can try. I've got on Wave. I really like the Wave, but you can do Windmill. As you can see, it kind of uh, rolls up like a windmill. Go back in. Transitions. Uh, cube. Outside. So now it looks like it's uh, rolling around like a cube. But uh, yeah, by far my favorite anyway, so far as the wave. But they're they're adding these things all the time, so there's always something new to look forward to every time they do a um, an update in the market. So that's my favorite launcher. Oh, also uh, I have it set up so that when I hit the home screen twice, it goes to the preview screen. Now this is really neat because like okay, these are my nine home screens. Now, if I want to add more home screens, I just hit this plus, and I can add up to 30. I think it's 30 is a cutoff, or maybe a couple more than 30, but I don't know anybody that's going to get up quite that high. So uh, I'm just going to erase these. But yeah, you can uh, add however many home screens you want to. And once you have your home screens, you know, this is a preview like uh, some other launchers also show. Um, I can pick up any one of these home screens. I'll pick up this one. Hang on, beat a butt. Pick up this home screen, and I can move it anywhere I want to. Now, on the Droid X, this is a little bit slow. It would work a lot faster on my uh, on my LG G2X, but uh, you can see there's a little bit of a lag on this because there's a lot of information being processed there. But uh, yeah, you can you know pick that up and and drop that wherever you want to switch them around however you want them switched around 
pick it back up put it back down and uh, like I don't know if you can tell right now the uh, home screen on the middle one there is highlighted the little home thing on there is highlighted yellow I can make any of these just by clicking on that yeah just by clicking on that I can make that my new main home screen so that when I go to home it goes to that one instead so I'm gonna go back to preview and re-highlight that main one or the middle one that's my main home screen so uh, yeah it's pretty neat and like if I pick up an app and drag it over instead of dragging it to another page it drags it so that I can drop it onto any of my home screens and then once I've dropped it there then I can move it around in there wherever I want to but I don't want it there I want it back on my main home screen so there we go SPB Shell 3D was the new launcher that came out about a month ago or so and uh, I don't know if anybody else was suckered into it like I was. I watched the video that made it look all snazzy and, you know, it made it look really neat. had all kinds of 3D effects to it and all that. I was duped. I paid $15 for it, and I regret it. Um, I still have it around, of course, because I paid for it. So uh, it works a lot better, actually, on my LG than it did my Droid X. The Droid X didn't quite have enough processing power to make it really, really smooth. It works better on the LG uh, with the dual core processors, but it's still just, it's just not, um, it, it just, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't stack up next to the Goal Launcher. Um, I mean, it's neat, you know, it's got a, it's pretty smooth on this device. It doesn't loop, like I've got, I've got this one to loop all the way around so that it doesn't ever come to the end. I can, I can change that if I want it to, to, uh, you know stop from left to right but I've got it looped on the uh, on the SPB uh, I didn't see anywhere in there where you can uh, have it loop if you want to unless you click this button and then you can spin it however much however fast you want to and it'll loop around and around and around it's kinda neat where you can uh, drag it up and down you know and, I mean, it's neat to play with, but it's it's definitely it's just not worth fifteen dollars. Or you can uh, you can spin it around like this, and then go to the screen you want to, and then it'll stop. If you uh, if you let it go, this is kind of neat. When you let it go, it kind of does its little uh, little previews of each screen. It'll go from screen to screen. That's all on its own. And the widgets that come with uh, SPB are pretty neat, but there's just not very many of them. I mean, uh, you know, for $15, you'd expect to have quite a few of them. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll punch one, a couple of them up here. SPB widget. Oh, it looks like they've added some, actually. I don't remember the, that many being in there. When I first tried this, I think there was only six or seven of them. So it looks like they are adding them, but... I'll have to try some of those out. I don't know what they do. But, uh, you know, for $15, uh, definitely, definitely not worth that price for what you get. It's uh, eye candy is about the only good thing going for it. And, I mean, unless you just have money coming out your ears, I, I don't see spending $15 on eye candy. I mean, I know I did, but, like I said, I was duped. So don't let yourself be duped. I don't think they have this on uh, uh, App Bucket yet for anybody who wants to try it for free before they were to pay for it. I know there was a hacked version going around, but it didn't have a lot of the. It didn't like have the app drawer, for instance. See, the app drawer is just really, really basic. Like, like what's so special about that? You know, I don't even know if I can. I don't even think. Let me see. manage settings oh no I see I don't even think I can uh, make that five rows across or five rows you can't change anything with it it's just a basic ordinary 
app drawer, whereas the app drawer in uh, Go Launcher is pretty neat. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, go to Recent. So these are all the recent apps that you've been playing with. You can go to the running apps that are running right now. Uh, you can reorganize it, icon sorting, to go alphabetical, latest installed first, earliest installed first. Let me try earliest installed. Sorting. So, yeah, these are all the, uh, well, most of that's the bloatware that comes with it. And then I can see the apps that I've added on there. And when I add it on there. So, you know, that's pretty neat. And that's all free. Whereas, like I said, the SPB Shell 3D was $15. I don't know if it's come down since then. I haven't looked at it since then. Maybe it has. I mean, they would be smart to come down because I, I can't see anybody spending that except for suckers like me. So, if they've come down at all, I don't know. Maybe it's worth it to you. Maybe it's not. But I don't think it was. So, anyways, this was a very, very quick uh demonstration of the two devices and the two launchers i hope you enjoy the show bye bye